This is, this is the number eight driven by Chelsea Denofa. And this is a drift car, of course. There's also the liveryless version, and there is also the um, Von Gissen Jr. Jr. version. And as you can see, it does drift quite well. So, this car is from Formula Drift, so it's the first free to play car in that category. Um, so, it'll be a welcome addition for free to play players who. Um, don't want to buy any downloadable content and haven't bought Forza Motorsport. So Forza Horizon 4 online. Because they get all the other dr drift cars, like the um, Mustang, 43 Mustang, sorry. No, the 43 Viper. And the BMWs. And that's a drift. What the heck? Well, I guess I'm going to have to restart this test drive. Um, I didn't even know that Brands Hatch could actually do that to a car. Okay. Anyway. As you can tell, I'm now level 31, which I'm actually quite proud of. And you'll see later in the video why I'm level 31, which would be pretty nice for you guys to see. So, um... See, that was a much better drift. I'm actually doing this. As you can probably tell by that earlier incident which forced me to restart. My drifting skills are usually quite sucky. But this car just wants to go around. I've never driven a Formula Drift car in here. Like, I've not... See, the 5 Fay Malou, the... Viper, as I was referencing earlier, all the BMWs, all the 200SXs, because I bought Forza Horizon 4 as a disc, just because of space on my console. I only have the small console because I'm sad. <laughs> um, but as you can tell, I'm now back on track. Um, but this thing just wants to go around. It's much better than my previous drift car, so this one's definitely replacing it. If I can, if I can tune my them down to um. S800, that'd be nice as well, because I have an S-Class and an R-Class drift car. So thank you very much Horizon for including this, it's a welcome addition. Unlike my drifting skills. Oh, that gravel trap. And, um, it's actually one of my favourite things about Forza, it has, a bit, it has much more content than other sims. GT6 may be an exception. G6, I like how there's um, lots, lots, lots of cars in there. But uh, it can be loaded to about six, no, not 600, probably 800, 900 because of all, because there's like 25 Ma Mazda MX-5s, for example, or my asses for my US viewer, as if I have a US viewer. <laughs> oh well. Um. We're coming to the end of the lap. Now, I've never actually driven a full lap in test drive. Does test drive finish the race for you? Did I start the race? I started the race, didn't I? I was only meant to be test driving. I feel like an idiot. Okay, restart. Hopefully this sends me back to the screen. If it doesn't, I'll hit the quit button. But, if you're wondering why I'm restarting, it's not because I'm going to show you the other liveries. I will show you the other liveries. But I have a little surprise in, the, in this video. But you may not be exactly aware that I'm going to do this new review. So, just quickly, this is Vaughan, the Vaughan Gitton car. It's a monster energy sort of look. And here is the um, RTR Spec 5, just a street one. I think this one looks best out of the, uh, the three, but I probably would have been murdered by parts of my subscription if I didn't use a um, racing livery. But um, I'll show you the surprise now, and this is... I now own... The Bugatti. And I'm going to take it out as well. I'm going to hit the test drive button this time. So yeah, I've been mining this car for a while. It's a bit like the Porsche 919. Um, it's one of the cars that I bought, as, and the Hart Renault, what the Renault's called again, RS17. It's 
It's one of those cars that I've bought with money as no option. So it has no object. A mentally special car. So if I love, I love my reservations about buying like any other one for a thirty million dollar car that does sound quite rude, but I mean like a um say a Peugeot on P1 by I don't know really have the reservations about the king, the nine one nine. This will be where the big A stretches its legs. It's probably its strongest stays at its top speed. Ooh, and yeah, the working rear ring is in force, aren't we? I probably could have told you that anyway by just watching somebody else's video. I've put into the blues, blue Vitesse spec, paint spec instead of the orange Vitesse. And I've done precisely nothing else to it. Just because I think it's best stock. My driving isn't best stock though. I've been the big alley. I suspect I'm either going to get a massive up rate in viewership or a massive downgrade in viewership for that. Well, let's get this thing out of this gravel trap. And let's try not to crash it again. So as we come to the end of this up, this is the end of this video. Um, I'll be doing some more videos soon. I have an extremely special Forza Horizon 4 one that doesn't have anything to do with the Mustang because that's the only new car this week in Forza. It's in Horizon. And um, I do this too often. I talk and then I crash. But that's what I was saying. I'm just going to leave it here. Sorry, Big Eddie. Um, I'm just going to say... Um, It'll be an extremely special Horizon 4 video. Hopefully it'll be a continuation of the um, other video, so the other series, the um, top 10 around Bathurst. Um, and there'll also be a couple more reviews like this and some special builds. But for now, it's DJ's Dream Team signing out.